I, I did see Creep Pooba practicing Sora earlier. No he way he's playing scared. Sora. But I actually decreased uh, Creep Pooba's like day three Sora. <laughs> but and then he just three stopped me with <laughs> Ridley. Because because he he does that. I mean he does that. Yeah. Creep is so scary. I mean, if anything, I don't think. It's creepy. Well, he's probably gonna do whatever he wants because you know he's a competent player and yeah. knows when to pull out a secondaries. Because his head, I mean, his shotos are pretty smooth. They're, they're probably like they're too good. Yeah. I mean, I would not expect it, right? Okay. I mean, I was you know I was not thinking Gordo neutral would be a good option, but well, I feel like if you're a character like Ridley, you don't really have great first option. But what's up with that up there? I was thinking Nair maybe against it, but yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah, that's what you need because. That's another thing. A lot of characters with double jumps, you know, abuse the double jumps. I think Kripuba with the read is... Yeah. I mean, he knows what he's doing. I, I think this man is very solid. Exactly. And just everything. I mean, but... That up tilt, man. That... It, a lot of people forget it's a kill move, but I know Kripuba didn't, you know? Yeah. Just got caught, you know, maybe being a little bit greedy, but I respect it. Okay, I really want to see... Okay, there's the Nair to block the Gordo. Oh, okay. Going for an up smash. Not quite That's yet. the mix-up. If you do landing Nair on shield, unless you have a really good out of shield option. Oh, man. Oh, that's he, tough. Yeah, I mean, that kills especially early. We just yeah. saw it right there, and now Campfire has the lead. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't ex expected this if you told me the matchup. Oh. Oh, I respect that shit. Yeah. I respect it. You're like... Oh? That's tough. Okay, I'm gonna finish this game. Alright. I already played this dude before. I played this dude in bracket. <laughs> I don't wanna play him again. I don't like Cloud. That's I hate fair. every character in the game. Yeah, equally. And, and and that's fair. <laughs> Man, I, I feel like Kree Pooba has to start hating Daisy right now because he just can't really seem to get any get anything. stuff. Done. He's just not getting anything. That is a DI mix up, so good job by Kree Pooba. You got a DI behind DDD most of the time. I just literally don't think he can get in against Gordo. Yeah, which it's, it's unbelievable. I'm fine with him. Like, personally, oh, good catch and coming through and. <sighs> Free Pooba, obviously very explosive, DD heavy, but can be comboed like crazy. So let's see if Free Pooba can get anything out of this. Okay. That, yeah. Not it's so Can't annoying because they have safe shield pressure. And they have safe shield pressure, and then if you try to punish it, they just up tilt kill. And it's exactly. Just, it's life. That's how it goes. Isn't fair, but is what it is. Well, good luck. Hey, I'm rooting for um, the DDs because I'm a. I hate DDD, but I gotta I gotta respect all the DD mans out there. There you go. You know. Perfect. All right. So now game two. We're going Metal Ridley here, which means that it is very serious. And we got a smaller space, so Kripuba is going to have to do less jumping around. He can, you know, take a shot. But Campfire doing a really good job of mixing up his movement, which is not something you usually see from DDD. He just does not have the speed for it generally, but he's staying right outside of Kripuba's threat range. Spacing with back airs, too. Down throw back air from Kripuba. Very good. And gets the edge guard, but has to go through the Gordo to make it. Campfire is not letting Kripuba get away with anything. Nothing is for free. Even if Kripuba lands a hit, it feels like it comes with a caveat. But Kripuba whiffing on the side B, getting the Nair. Campfire missing a kill confirmed. That could be big. But the trade kill, no! And Kripuba lives! But he might not be living much longer. Campfire has been an absolute menace on the ledge. Kripuba throwing hands, coming across with the 
solid pressure and maybe able to get a ledge trap here or a, excuse me an edge guard but never mind campfire happy to throw out hitboxes make creepuba afraid and good job on the grab read which is normally something you see creepuba doing on the ledge Doing a very good job of mixing up. Just not quite able to get the kill, and he does right there, but 107% for Free Puba. Catching with the up air. Side B's not gonna take it, 159. One eighty-three. Really building up the percent. Campfire looking for a way to get off, but cannot do it. And Creepuba finishing him off with the dash attack. Creepuba's been able to be more aggressive in this game, and it's definitely started to work out well for him. When he's on the front foot, he can do a lot of damage, but uh, Campfire's doing a good job of getting the front foot back and just kind of closing off space where Kuri Puba can go. Tries to catch the Gordo with the inhale, not quite working, but can Kuri Puba get anything off here? He cannot. Campfire getting back again. Sour spot, I think, of that dash attack. And now this could be it. If Creepuba can get a good ledge trap here, he can. He is so threatening on the ledge that he makes you just, you know, you feel like you need a second to figure out because if you jump, you get nared, you get back aired. If you neutral get up, you get thrown or you get side bead. If you roll, you get smash attacked. But if you wait there, you will get dash attacked and you will die way earlier than you think. So. You know, dead if you do, dead if you do not, and Campfire's learning that the hard way. But we still have game three, and he has counter pick advantage going into the third game. So we got game three going to town and city. It's good for Campfire. Obviously, he has more space to move around. He did better in the first game than he did the second game. And one of the big changes was just the amount of stage space. But Creepuba does have those platforms that could help him get off the ledge if necessary. But Campfire, very aggressive off stage. Ah, you cannot shield against Creepuba. Catching with the wing. He's going to try to land with Nair, and he does it successfully, but good DI by Creepuba. Obviously has enough matchup experience. But Symphony, or not Symphony, excuse me, Campfire, closing it out, but Creepuba's right back. Wow, Campfire, good use of the landing there to get the combo uh, right out of hit stun. But Creepuba's getting his own combo going. Both of these two are just swinging. Good job with the dash attack. Will we see him be able to close it out with the ledge trap here? Campfire's starting to hunt air dodges. Might not get it there, but could be a pro uh, something that Creepoop has to worry about should this, you know, continue. Jump neutral air dodge, definitely an option, but 
Prepuba coming. Coming correct. Tr Campfire trying to get a read, not quite getting it. And now Campfire looks like that he is trying to get close out the stock and his neutral is suffering because of it. But now we are back on the ledge right where he wants to be and good ledge pressure, but amazing job being patient by Kripuba and he is back in the driver's seat. 71% on campfire. But you cannot, you can't shield on the side platform on town because you're scared that you're gonna get hit. But as soon as you do, the second you do, Kripuba is going to grab you with that side B and he is going to take the stock. That was what happened and that was the way that he was able to close that game out. Good stuff to Kripuba, but surprisingly good job by Campfire who is new around here, but I've never seen him before. So, I mean, good stuff by both guys. I'm sure the Campfire will make a loser's run.